my channel, Stacey Fowler Creations. I am Stacey Fowler. I'm so happy that you're here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. And I hope this becomes your new favorite channel where I'll be sharing a lot of information educational wise, because I'm a teacher who really believes that teachers need to be exciting. When you're exciting and you let children or your students discover the fun in learning, that oh, you don't have any problem with getting them to do the activities or participating in class. So even if you're just a parent, not a problem, you still can let that in a child come out have fun if you have fun while teaching the child fun is infectious the child going to have fun and if the child is having fun then voila do i have any problem teaching them so i am from jamaica i don't know how they do it in other countries but here in jamaica at least when i was a child we had to learn our tables very important but how did we learn it? We had to, the tables are printed on the back or the, of a book cover, or sometimes it's on the interior on the back cover. And you would have to recite those tables for days based on how fast you grasp information. That when you go to school, it doesn't end there. Now, either the teacher stands at a chart with a pointer, pointing at each equation. And then you have to, again, recite the tables or a student will be asked to do that with a pointer, point on each equation and you will have to recite that table. Now, I do know the importance of knowing the tables that it helps, especially with your division and all the other, mathematics that you're going to do. But as I said, this teacher likes to have fun when she's teaching. Because if I'm having fun, my students are going to have fun. If my students are going to have fun, they're going to learn even faster. So I'm always thinking of ways to make learning more fun for my students. And of course, thanks to my almighty father, he gave me this idea that I've used with my students as young as four years old. Once a child is able to count, then you can use this step on them. They will do any tables, no chart, no book cover, no long reciting the tables for like over two hours to get to know it, right? So let the fun begins. Jump roll. All right, now, on this channel, I like to share a little extra something, something, something. So when the child gets the answer correct, please be excited. For me, I do dances. Oh, 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 oh. who is smart? Oh, oh, who is smart? Oh, oh, who is smart? Eh, eh, who is smart? Eh. And I call this child's name, right? So the child confidence builds and they feel good to continue. And when they continue, hey, I do more dances. Oh, I do character voices too. I do different voices. So like if the child is crying, there's this song that I, a little jingle that I do. We don't cry, we try. Hey, we don't cry, we try. Hey, we don't cry, we try. Hey, and by a new way, the child is singing along and forgot they wanted to cry. No, sometimes I get really excited because they're having so much fun. And then when they see me, they start to scream and all oh, their face just light up. It just warms my heart. Their face just light up like this bulb is there. You know, this bright light is there. Just joy just flowing through them because they know they're seeing their teacher that's going to let them have fun while they're learning. And when they start to scream, I would like, ah, ah. What is it now? Is it that you're trying to destroy these ears of mine? Oh, ah, hey, yo. And they laugh about it. And I have fun. And then we get into the lessons. So I'm going to share a little something, something, something. You can try to. No shy. Um, don't shy. Don't shy. Oh, don't shy. Oh, 
You can't be shy when you're teaching your students. Just have fun, okay? Don't be boring with it. Whether you're a teacher or a parent, have fun. If you have fun, the students have fun. They learn fast, no crying, no. All right. So three, I'm sorry, I just, as I said, I'm very kind over here. So I'll share tips with you with things I do to make my lessons fun. So three rules that you must, 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 three rules. Many fingers I will, yeah, three rules that you must teach your students before you go to the next step that I'm gonna tell you. Rule number one, any number that you multiply by zero, it's gonna give you zero. Any number that you multiply by zero is going to give you zero. So let's try that. So I have my example. I said, if you multiply one million by zero, you're gonna get zero. So no matter how big the number is or how small the amount is, it's still going to get zero. One multiplied by zero, still zero. Two multiplied by zero, still zero. 10 multiplied by zero, still zero. Yes. <laughs> OK, have fun. Have fun while teaching your students. So you do that a little while with them, give them different examples, let them find the answer. Then you test them, say, OK, 50 multiplied by zero, what is the answer? When they get it, yes, yes, all right. Then five multiplied by zero, they get it again, excitement again. So that's rule one. Once the students learn rule one, the next step is rule two. What's rule two? Any number multiplied by one gives you about the same number. Any number multiplied by one gives you about the same number. So if I multiply 1,000 by one, I shall get back 1,000. If I multiply one by one, still one. If I multiply 10 by one, still 10. Woo! The only difference would be if zero comes in the equation. So you tell them if zero pops up. If you see the zero, remember rule one. Oh, any number multiplied by zero is going to give you zero. So one multiplied by zero is zero. Zero multiplied by one, still zero. So being that said, I go to rule three. Uh -huh. Rule three. So rule three is, it doesn't matter how the numbers are written when you're multiplying, your answer is going to be the same. So for example, a while ago I said, one multiplied by zero, zero. Zero multiplied by one, still zero. So it doesn't matter how the numbers are arranged when you're multiplying, your answer is going to be the same. So once your little friends have all the three rules, well locked in their very small brain, it's time to move on to what I do to let them learn the tables. No chart, no book cover, no reciting of the tables for over an hour, which can be very, very discouraging when it comes on to learning. All right? So you know our little friends, their attention span is not as us as long as we, um, adults, right? Even us as adults, when we're in meetings and it's too long, we grab our cell phones, right? And even if we're hiding and doing it, we're using our cell phones to try not to let the boredom overtake us. It's the same for little friends. So let the learning be exciting. Keep coming up way, with ways to make learning fun, whether you are a parent or a teacher. Let the fun in learning because, or let your inner child comes out. The more you let them feel as if they're just playing while learning, the more they're going to learn. Because as I said, I make learning fun. Now, the rule that I use, my little thing that I came up with, and trust me, you're gonna see how easy it is. 
So you reinforcing to reinforce the rule about any number multiplied by zero. I normally let the child start at zero. It doesn't matter which tables they're going to do, whichever timetable, I let them start at zero. That's my way to reinforce the rule about any number multiplied by zero. We'll give you back zero. All right. So I will say, for example, I'm doing the two times today. So it's two times zero, or if you want to say two multiplied by zero, zero. Two multiplied by one, two. So here's my little rule now. You tell the child that they're going to call their chest the last answer they got. So we are at two multiplied by one, we got two for answer. Our chest is now two. You're doing your two times, so two fingers go up. Let me see those two fingers. All right, let me use this hand. Let me see those two fingers. So your chest is two, and you're going to continue counting by one, three, four. So two times two is four. Now the last answer I have is four. My chest, four, two fingers up, bam! And you continue counting, five, six. Good job, woo! So that's two times three. My last answer is six, bam! Two fingers up, because I need to find out two times four is how many? So I'm gonna continue, all right, so six, seven, eight, Woo! good job again. So my last answer is eight, two fingers up and you do the same, nine, 10, two times five is 10 and you continue. Even if you want to go up to two times 20, the child will be able to do it. So now you see a very easy rule. Now, after the child does that, then you can say, I don't mean the same day. So you will practice with the child, you know, more than once, you would know how fast a child normally learns. And then you're going to say to the child, no, you're going to work out this on my own. Uh, sorry, you're going to work out this on your own for me. Two multiplied by three. Work it out starting at two multiplied by zero until you figure two multiplied by three. Tell me the answer. When the child gets it, excitement! Okay, yes, get all excited for the child. If the child doesn't get it on the first time, help the child. Don't lose the patience. Be patient, let the child continue. And then when the child gets more comfortable and getting the answers, don't ever forget the congratulations. And it must be exciting. And afterwards, come back to this challenge. You know, I'm gonna teach you how to move on to the other tables, so remember, Come back to this channel. And if you haven't subscribed us yet, please click on the subscription button while you're doing the notification bell. So you can be notified when I upload new videos. Like, share, comment below. I want to hear from you. How is your child doing? Did you let your inner child come out? Did you have fun when you were teaching? Did your heart just fill with joy when you see the channel, as I said before? And I don't know you personally, but I love you. And may this be your new favorite channel. Until then, mwah!